The Terminator. There's no better franchise to me than The Terminator. I think the first Terminator movie is one of the greatest movies ever made. And I think Terminator 2 is the perfect sequel. Truthfully, they are the two best films that ever came out. As a one and a two. I think they're better than Star Wars. They're better than Star Trek. They're better than everything. And last week, my app told me to play... Terminator 2 Judgment Day the game for the NES now unfortunately you may have just noticed what I know it has that the rainbow shite on the sticker which genuinely means this is not going to be a great game LJN didn't make great games they made decent games here and there but I don't have much hope for it now I kind of know what this game is. I know you have that second level where you've got to basically catch up to John Connor and save him from the T-1000 while he's being chased down on his little fucking scrambler bike by the T-1000 on his big fucking truck. So I know apparently the controls are shit awful for that level. I'm just going to have to see how it goes. Hopefully it's good. But it fucking counts on it. What's this stupid little dance that they're doing? Ah, oh, fuck this game, bad. And why is D Snyder trying to kill me? Bring it, D. Snyder. Or D. Snyder's. Come on, you bastard. Die! Take that, fucking tea wagon, you, you bitch. Oh wow. Um.
Boom. Uh, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing there. I literally can't be asked anymore. The game is poor. It's very fucking poor. Ugh. <clears throat> Just don't tell me what the fucking, the fucking blue hell is going on in that game. I'm a fucking Terminator. I should be able to fucking punch somebody to death with one punch. One fucking punch should be able to go straight through his fucking chest and he dies. People should die instantly, not stand there and take like six punches off me. You know, I'm a fucking Terminator. I should be able to fuck kill him with my little fucking finger, but no. These fucking D Snyder looking motherfuckers keep jumping out and fucking trying to hit me with sticks. It's like, just die. Die, D Snyder. <clears throat> that, that, that big baddie boss. Why was he like that big? What the fuck was he supposed to be? Was he some sort of mutant or something? He's bigger than Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger's about that fucking tall up there. He's a fucking beast of a man. How the fuck's that guy bigger than Arnold Schwarzenegger? And taking that many hits off a Terminator? Fucking. That's how. That's how. That right there. That logo. LJ fucking N. That's how they fucking do it. Oh, fuck me. Fuck me. <clears throat> And then the second uh, second level, you're on the bike. What the fuck happens there? What happens there? I can't be asked playing shit games for that long. That's a shit game. A proper shit game. You're the Terminator. The fucking Terminator. You can't kill people with one hit. With one fucking hit. They should be dead. A lot of them should be dead. Straight away. You know, fair enough, jump out, yeah, we'll have it with this fucking guy. Die though straight away. Don't like stand there and fight. I really don't know what to I really don't know what else to say about that game. Oh Gordon Benny, that game was bad. Fucking bad. Not only do I own that piece of shit, I also own that as well. Oh god, it's got the LJN logo on it. Oh fucking god, no! I may as well do both at the same fucking time. So then. Be prepared for a double barrage of shit. Because surely the Game Boy version of that piece of shit can't be good. Dun, dun. It's already got a better start than my fucking one on the NES, though. Oh, look look at that. Look at Shere kind of a big fat boobies. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Okay, well this is already different. This is this is infinitely better than that shit I've just played. It's still not good. By the way, I have put cheats up.
Ah, fuck. Ah, oh, bastard. For some... Mm. A glitch created, I'm assuming, from using inference energy fucking cheats. Rendered the game unplayable. I am... Um, I got no desire to go back and play. There was way too much going on in that screen. I can't be asked. It wasn't very good. The graphics were nice. So this game gets a 2 out of 10. And that's based on its graphics only. Other than that shit. This game gets a 2 out of 10. Because it's playable. To a degree. It's graphics are shocking. I think it's graphics are, you know, the worst in the Game Boy version. Although they're completely fucking different games. You wouldn't know that by looking at the fucking case. Yeah, they're shit. Never playing them games again. They're fucking shit. As per usual, I'm going to let me app pick the next game for me. And it's going to pick... Batman Forever Super Nintendo. Batman Forever for the Super Nintendo. Hmm. It's a game I've never played before. I look, look forward to giving that one a go. Batman Forever. Where are you? Batman Forever for the Super Nintendo. That's next week's game. Anyway, folks. I'm Gaz Cavalera. Thanks for watching Terminator 2 on Virtually Emma. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll catch you next time. You are terminated. Ah, fuck it. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs>